Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to Aries TV on YouTube. Um, my name is Marley Nadine, and right now, um, a little bit earlier, I posted a video on Mars and its planetary function, and now I just want to take the time to speak on this beautiful Mars, Venus, Jupiter thing that's going on in the sky. If you ask me, this is like pretty amazing. Like, I like when planets come really close and, like, do pretty things, especially Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, because those are the main planets that are, like, visible from Earth, and they're all together. So, it's a very twinkle, twinkle kind of star effect. So, when you look out and see Venus, it's kind of, like, red. Mars is also kind of red, and then Jupiter is, like, a bright star, and they're all three next to each other. Now, they're doing this beautiful planetary kind of dance thing. Venus is the planet that symbolizes love, it symbolizes luxury, and it symbolizes sensuality and harmony also. Um, Mars is will, determination, and action. And then you have Jupiter, which is luck, expansion, and big picture. Now, I wanted to throw those keywords in there because to me, my interpretation of this is with these three moving together, together, this gives you a big picture on what you want, how you want, and how you're going to do it. This is a time to set a plan, to set a goal, and to move into your plan and your goal because you have the willpower of Mars, the vision of Venus, you know what I mean, and the, the emotion towards that vision. And then you just have like the big picture, Jupiter, luck, expansion, you're thinking big, you're not thinking small, you're going outside of your normal limitation or the limitations that you might have put on yourself in the past. Now is the time to move forward and do great things. Okay, now during this month you can actually see them from the sky. If you look to the east, like either right before the sun rises or right after the sun rises, they're kind of there just like chilling out. Um, they've been together since... Um, August, which when um, when they came into Jupiter, they were kind of all, not Jupiter, excuse me, Leo, they were kind of all together. Um, and they're, they've been grouping up. So they've been close for a minute. Um, and they're actually like millions and millions of miles away from each other scientifically. But when we see them close in our skies like this, grouped up, then we call this a conjunction. This is where one is pouring positive energy into the other, just back and forth, back and forth, just really... Just lovely. And if I'm, I'm not sure, but I believe that they're in Libra right now. It's not Virgo on the verge of Libra, um, which are very, both very feminine signs and very like, you know, grounded kind of like, you know, signs. So around the 7th of November, um, Jupiter is going to be, um, be close to the crescent moon, which is going to be like an awesome sight. It's just kind of like, the symbolism of like, uh, I don't know, um, what's that religion? It's not called Muslim, it's called something else, but whatever the Muslims are, it's that religion. I can't even think of it right now. Um, and then Venus and Jupiter are, I mean, um, Venus and Mars will be right below that. So it'll be the crescent moon, Jupiter, and then Venus and Mars right below. So that's going to be awesome around um, November the 7th. Um, Venus and Mars right now are bringing a lot of creativity, a lot of visionary creativity. Just um, the key words I feel like for this period of time are motivation and inspiration of this conjunction. Motivation and inspiration. So be motivated, dream big. Think big, do big, don't fold or bend any of your um, dreams for anybody. And also, let me add this in because I was speaking with Gary today and I just thought it was interesting because when we talk, we kind of learn as we go. And I was just saying, um, you know, I got this angel of love card today in my deck for my card of like the day. And as soon as I got it and I go downstairs, I get like so much hate thrown my way. So realize that with everything is an equal, equal and opposite reaction. So you will have people that will be in agreement with what you're doing. And of course, you're going to have people that are going to be in disagreement with what you're doing. But please do not let that stop you. Continue to push forward. Continue to do what you want to do. Visualize and materialize. Okay? Remember... Uh, motivation, inspiration, visualize, and materialize. And I love you guys. I'm such a rapper, like, for reals. Everybody knows that.
visualize, materialize, inspiration. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I'm done with this video. I love you guys. Just wanted to talk about Venus and Mars, Jupiter conjunction together. Enjoy your day. Peace out.